I mean, I can promise you this, Alpharetta ain't coming out there to, to lose, and they're not coming out there just to work on this or work on that. They're coming out there to beat us as bad as they can beat us. You know, last year we had to prove everybody wrong. This year we got to prove everybody right, because there'll be a lot of people that expect us to be good, expect us to play for championships. And there's an expectation and responsibility that goes with that. When the year was over with, I mean, I do a little deal called passing the torch. And so, you know, I ask our seniors from last year to stand up in the team room. And then when they leave the room, I tell the guys, like, this group's not coming back. Like, they're not coming back. They don't play next year. This is your group now. I think our guys felt like, hey, all right, I'm a senior this year, it's my time to lead. You know, I mean, we've had an unbelievable offseason. Our kids have worked their tails off. You know, the kids that needed to add weight have put on weight. You know, the kids that needed to get stronger have gotten stronger. And the kids that needed to be in shape have gotten in shape. And so, and we've learned how to have some competitive toughness about what we're doing. You know, I'm not saying when we're in the weight room that kids don't have to strain and, you know, be pushed hard. I'm not saying when you're out here at practice that every day feels awesome. But there's a feeling you have within your soul when you know you've done everything you can to be successful and you allow yourself an opportunity to be successful. I think that's what allows that opportunity of that excitement, that opportunity of, hey, I want to be a part of that. Four forty-five in the morning, get up, try to get the run in, you know, get showered up, changed. At some point in time of the day, if I get an extra second, I'll try to get a lift in. At some point in time, uh, with our classes in the weight room, you know, I'm still trying to go over the game plan throughout the day, make sure we got all our eyes dotted, T's crossed, so I don't have to think so much. We're just reacting, um, and then. You know, once we start getting about that 4.30 range, we know it's about time to get loaded up. I'll do a devotional with our coaches before the game, and uh, then I'll talk to our players, and we're ready to roll. Love and mercy, sending your son to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, I pray that you'll keep us safe from harm. Help us as men to lead God and direct our men tonight. We're coaches. Lord, it's about how we can take it from one spot to another. And tonight, we get that moment. We get that opportunity. Help us to make the most of it. Ask that you show up, show out through us. And we do it all to glorify you in Christ's name we ask. Amen. Amen. All right, love you guys, man. Let's go. Play physical. Here's your opportunity. You want it. I know one thing. They broke it down down there on F Gainesville. You got me? All right. Hey, they want something. They're about to get something. Here we go. Right here. Let's go. Hey, hey, Kim on three now. One, two, three. Hey, listen up. Everybody got to stay locked in. You listening to me? Hey, stay locked in. Younger guys will get a chance. Plug in some of this half, too. You stay locked in. Locked in on what we're doing, everybody. All right? Doing the little things right. All right, everybody got it. Hey, hey, team on three. One, two, three. Yeah. I got one. I got one. You know, we're chasing best in what we're doing. There's no options. There is no asking myself, is this necessary? It is. And we want to push the envelope with that. And so, you know, I'm proud of our program, right? But I'm also understanding that every day I wake up, we got to find a way to make it better. We got to find a way to keep chasing best and climbing that mountain because we're not a quitter, we're not campers, and we're climbers. And that's what our program's about.